Welcome to Triple Trouble Archery. We're at Mix uh, Hairdresser's Basement and we're gonna answer some questions that you guys sent us on Facebook and Instagram. So I'm gonna start off asking the first question. So, uh, first question, what would you give up for archery and what not, if you had to? I think I would give up pretty much everything for archery. Because it's the only skill I have in life. <laughs> <laughs> Next? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Oh me? Yeah, you. you oh yeah, you right. Too. Well, I already gave up everything, so it's the only thing in life I. <laughs> pretty much everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much everything. So. Next question is for me. No smooth. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you had to either fight a horse-sized duck or a duck-sized horse, Ooh. which one would you fight? Take into consideration that the tiny horse is really cute. I would probably <laughs> pick the. The duck-sized horse, because I don't really like horses, and if they're <laughs> duck-sized, <laughs> that, that would make all the difference. So, yeah. right, fair enough. Yeah, I would fight the, the duck-sized horse just because I couldn't win from the from, from yeah, the uh, horse-sized duck. Yeah. So, it'd be, it'd, it'd, to... a horse-sized duck would probably eat you whole. Yeah, so, I yeah. think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good answer. Can you throw it in? What's the funniest fail you had during a tournament? It was back in 2016, Vitel uh, training camp. And I was incredibly focused on my technique and I just forgot to shoot three arrows. <laughs> shot my uh, personal <laughs> <laughs> just shot my personal best. You still shot a personal best? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still my personal best. <laughs> Funniest fail for me is, I guess, that I um... came fourth in the low. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest fail, because that's not really funny, is it? Oh, yeah, is. <laughs> um, is that I, I brought my spare tab, uh, or I, I put my tab in my hand luggage, so uh, so that if the baggage got lost, I still had my tab. And then I forgot to, to bring my tab to the field, so I, I had a spare tab somewhere, and then I, I assembled it from like parts that yeah. I borrowed from other people, and then I ended up shooting the. Um, the tap that I built during official practice in the uh, European Championships and I got third in it. So that's a fail turn to win. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. Oh. <laughs> that's All right. his biggest <laughs> archery <laughs> fail. <laughs> <laughs> my, my funniest fail yet. That's, yeah. Next question. If you can switch from high level archery to practicing um, another sport at high level, which sport would it be? Badminton. Um, I, I think judo. But I think I would maybe go back to uh, soccer. Can we have another Triple Trouble member, yeah. please? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Would you shoot apples off of other people's heads? No. <clears throat> How is life after the Olympics? Pretty good, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have to say. Very yeah. awesome. Yes. <laughs> um, I had a really long holiday and uh, I'm getting back at shooting now, but it's different. Like people that know me sometimes that I didn't expect them to know me. And for the rest, it's it's basically the same. I'm still just an archer. Um, how do you stay motivated in hard times? You you oh. had, um, for instance, 2012 was yes. a hard time for you. <clears throat> I switched trainers then, personal trainers, but that's something else. And listen to the people that were around me to motivate me and say, you know, you can do it. Which is, you one. know, the just pat on the shoulder is a stupid thing. Just surround you with people that yeah. want to have the best or want to give you the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's I think good. that's what's that's really happening now, you know, with the seven or eight guys of us in the team. I think, you know, we get the best out of each other. We motivate each other, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, know, you have a good time and get better. Besides your girlfriend, who is the hottest female in archery? She's so not in archery. My mom doesn't shoot. No. I would say there's a lot of pretty girls in archery, but um, we're not in a good position to, no, yeah. to tell you. And uh, I don't really know. He doesn't want to ruin his chances with the girl that he has in mind. <laughs> Who? How did you start archery? Same with mom. No. Fuck you. I didn't take one. No. <laughs> right. How did you start archery? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> doesn't right. matter. So, how did you start? I was brought to the club by my dad um, because he already did archery and uh, that's basically it. Yeah, there's one really famous picture of you holding well, your first one. bow. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. We can edit that. We should, yeah. yeah, we can edit it yeah. somewhere here. 
No, I started archery because um, people at school, at elementary school, they told me I had a severe problem with concentrating. I don't know, I can't recall any six year old or seven year old that could focus really well in elementary school, but apparently it was so bad with me that they had to do something about it. So I just thought, well, archery might help because you need to focus and have good concentration for that. So. Did you think so, or did your archers think so, or your parents think so? No. I didn't. Okay, really? I didn't have any friends. I don't know. I just wanted to practice archery and apparently it worked and got me some places. I started archery um, when I was 12 years old because of reading a book. It was called Ranger's Apprentice. Yeah, there was a boy who was uh, doing archery and I was like, ah, I want to do the, the same. So I started archery, went to a local club and then now we're here. Start from the bottom. Why do you love archery? I love the feeling of like having a really good shot and then finding yourself shooting a 10 and seeing the arrow fly into the 10 and then realizing that that was all you. So there's not like a team effort, but it's all you. That's what I like most about archery. I also just enjoy the environment, you know, of traveling, getting in an airplane yeah, and that's having a fun time. Archery. What? That yeah, that's that's no, but it's hard. everything. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. maybe it's every, every sport or any sport, yeah, but sport. it's Sorry, oh, archery, so. What's your worst result last season? Uh, Not qualifying for the Olympics. Is it the worst or the one that hurts the most? Because yeah. if it's one that hurts the most, it's the fourth place at the Olympics. If it's the worst, I have no idea. Probably World Cup Antalya. Say. What hurts the most is the becoming 17th at the European Youth Championships while I qualified 6th. The worst is I think my Lowlands uh, shootout season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is a good one for you, man. <coughs> yes. Can you guess it? No. Okay. What is a good way to stay fit for archery? There's our expert I, right now. I know a good way to get fit for archery <laughs> <laughs> after you've eaten too much food. I'm doing uh, strength training three days a week and running three days a week, and then Sunday is basically my day off, but normally I'll be outside doing something. What I've been told, but I'm not, a, I'm not an expert, uh, is that you, if you run for like half an hour, that's good for your, uh, your physical state and it doesn't burn any of, of, of your muscles, so you just get more fit. Uh, <laughs> Which one of you is the black sheep? I guess I am, because I'm just new here. We know each other for a couple of years. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think there's a black sheep in the team. No. no. But we make fun of each other we, all the time. So yeah. if we have to pick someone, I think Kais is the new guy in, in the team and that would yeah. make him the blackest sheep. For how long have you been practicing archery and since when are you shooting at this high level? Yesterday. It's amazing! <laughs> what do you look most forward to outside? So besides the outdoor season? I guess uh, the trip to Canada that we're going to do. That's a, yeah. We're gonna have a trip to Canada to train with uh, Crispin. Join us. Uh, that should be a lot of fun and really, really good for like shooting matches and just training with other peeps. So uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to um, I think a couple of training camps coming months. So that's gonna nice. be uh, gonna be fun. So it's a uh, training camp, week of school, uh, holidays, training camp, week of school, week of school, training camp, week of school, holidays. So that's awesome. What's the best thing that happened to you outside of archery? Graduating. Yeah, I, I think that's a nice idea. Yeah. yeah, for me too. <laughs> <laughs> for me, outside of archery, probably moving in with my girlfriend without dying in the first month. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, oh, no. Let's one, one. No. All right. That's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do you enjoy shooting during qualification or finals, or is there only seriousness? I think, I think if, you, if you don't enjoy shooting, you might as well not shoot. So no. yeah. yes, there's always the enjoyment of shooting when you're shooting a competition, yeah. unless it's like pouring down with rain, and but then you also can see the humor of it. Um, and then next to seeing the humor of the, 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 the shooting, I guess you can also have be serious and uh, yeah, have a serious competition. <clears throat> What do we think of each other as teammates? They suck. Yeah, definitely. Next question. Uh... Choose three words to describe your last season. 
Tears. Crying. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Except for the silver medal in Shanghai, that was awesome. Surprising. Awesome. Yeah, really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Amazing. Very bittersweet. <laughs> well, that's nice. I think that's yeah, sums it up really well. Yeah. Why is Rick not in trouble? Trouble. Who's Rick? Who the hell is Rick? Never heard of him. Did you ever accidentally break any of your gear? Uh, about a year ago, I made a, um, a shooting line of just a piece of wire, and um, I was walking away with my bow, holding my gear, my stabilizer pointing straight forwards, and um, I stumbled on that shooting line, and I fell right on my stabilizer, so it broke at the start, <laughs> and I had to um, to cut it an inch uh, shorter. So now I'm shooting a. 29 inch stabilizer. <laughs> when I was still in darker times, <clears throat> I sometimes got a little mad at myself if I didn't shoot the way I wanted to. And at one given point, I was shooting a competition, I got mad at myself and I hit myself in the leg with an arrow. And then, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I was holding like uh, a little bit of the arrow and the rest just flew over the, over the line. Have you had any bad experiences involving archers shooting not fairly? The European Youth Championships, um, 2016. A guy, um, we were counting arrows, and um, he was like, ah, I've got a 10, 10, 9, 9, 8. And he looked at me, kind of nervous, and he said, 8. Yeah, I was with my back to the target, so um, I was doing the PDA stuff, so I don't really check the arrows. Right. And when he was looking at me, I, was, I thought, ah, that's something wrong. So uh, I looked at the target and look at the arrow and it was a seven with like two centimeter, centimeters in the in the seven ring. I had a moment at the face-to-face -face <coughs> in 2010 when I was still relatively unexperienced. Um, every time I uh, was shooting and almost through the clicker the guy behind me started coughing. That, that really startled me. I was like, uh, what, what was I, 15 years old and uh, shooting a big competition for one of the first times and all of a sudden there's a guy behind me that starts coughing every time I'm about yeah. to shoot. So that's something that I considered not fair play. What's the most painful thing that you lost because of archery? <laughs> Several relationships. Social life. And social life. And? Yeah, how about you? How yeah, you lose? Good relationship. I uh, <laughs> lost my temper. <laughs> <laughs> that's really important thing to lose, yeah. yeah. All right. No, that one's in. What are the See hardest that. and easiest parts of your shooting form? Uh, the hardest part of my shooting form is that none of the shots ever are the same in my technique. So every time I pull back my bow, I do something differently, which is not good, but it's the way I work. And I always have to come up with a solution to a problem in my technique. That's the hardest thing. The easiest thing is that I don't have to think about the technique all the time because I can just <laughs> do whatever I want. Um, the hardest part is I think my tempo to shoot fast. I don't force my Pace. shots, and Pace, but yeah. the easiest is um, that I almost always make strong shots. I always finish them strong, so that's a right. good thing. I think um, for me it's my release. Everybody knows that my release yes. is, a, is a bit kind of weird. could be <laughs> clunky, clunky, weak, yeah. or whatever. Even though my back tension or my forearm and everything is good, my release is always a bit um, off. Easiest part, my forearm. I like my forearm. I like trains. <laughs> What's the best result since you started shooting? Silver medal with the team at the Shanghai World Cup in 2016. Fourth place at the games. It's yeah, it's the shittiest. Good. It's for the world. So yeah, it's the shittiest it's result, but it's also the best result that yeah. I've had. Yeah. I don't know if it's becoming two times in a row uh, Dutch get a champion or yeah. I think I'm really um, happy about my qualification in Romania at the European Youth Championships. So you can choose. So I can choose. Yeah. yeah. What are your goals for the upcoming years? Might be a little bit of a no-brainer for some people, but you know, just I want to qualify for the Olympics in, in three yeah. almost uh, four years, and I want to qualify for the World Championships this year. Yeah, okay. and in uh, then both. Yeah, 2019. 2019, the World Championships in the there. home country. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. And I want to be there, and I want to perform there. Um, Make a good show. Maybe, but I just yeah. want to shoot well. How did you handle the pressure qualifying for the Olympics? I think the only time I, I had a hard time with the pressure 
for the last 36 arrows in Antalya because I completely failed. I think that would be a good one, good answer for the question, but you know, those 36 arrows, that was the pressure. For me, the qualifying part was the, the, the pressure was the highest when we still had to qualify for the Olympics in the first place at the World Championships. Uh, after that was done, I didn't really have any pressure anymore because at the national level, I didn't really expect someone to kick me out of the team or something. So it was just uh, uh, the working to the World Championships in Copenhagen that was a lot of uh, pressure on the shoulders and after that was gone, it was fine. Um, what's one mistake you've made in your life and what did you do to make it right? No, I don't really know. I, I've made a lot of mistakes and not specifically a really big one. In the, in the long run for me, a mistake that I made in my life is to quit school. But then again, that's also uh, for like my archery, that's probably been the best decision I ever made. Yeah. So I think it's a mistake in the long run and I might uh, suffer the consequences later, but it's, it's fine for it's now. I probably made some mistakes along the way. I'm still here, so. Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> what do you like the most about an international tournament? Seeing all of the people again that I haven't seen in the period between the international tournaments. I like hanging around with uh, international people. I like the vibe, I like the people. I like trains. Yeah. Standing on the line in God knows where and, and doing what you have to do, yeah. yeah Just being with people you don't get to see often. And... Shut up. The last question. <laughs> <laughs> the have longest you, one. Have you ever been, as a pro, into a situation when an oh. amateur came by, didn't recognize you and tried to tell you what you can do better with your shooting? Uh, recently when I went to the club, there was this guy who didn't know me. I can't blame him. So I was still shooting over there and he starts about my release. So yeah, yeah maybe you can do this or do yeah. that. But you know, you can't blame him. I mean, he tries yeah. the best. But. I like, I like trains. going to the, the carnival. And then just ah. go to the like the shooting thing <laughs> yes. that they have, yes. and then pick up a bow and shoot all of the balloons, and then uh, go home with like a teddy bear that's bigger than your own body. And then they give you tips about you, know, you have to hold the bow like this, or you have to uh, put your fingers there. And then I just shoot all of the balloons and go away, and that's something I really enjoy doing. And then don't yeah. tell them what you do for yeah. a living. Just, <laughs> no, just go. don't say anything. Go. Just go. I think yeah, yeah, at my club there are sometimes new people, and they start talking to you, and sometimes argue with you about uh, shooting. I kind of like that, that you can just talk with people, yeah. not with the you know people looking up to you. And that's something I really like. In the end, we're all just yeah, the same, you know, we stand on the same yeah, line. Yeah, stand on the same, mm -hmm. same rule. <laughs> so I think that pretty much sums it up for now. So thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. A Subscribe. Triple like. trouble archery. Yeah, what he says. Exactly. Thank you <laughs> and goodbye.